what is going on guys and welcome to html and brackets tutorial in this video we're going to talk about how to add images to our web page because let's face it a web page without an image or images for this matter would actually suck so the first thing what we need to do is actually to get an image so over here i'm just going to expand this live preview and i'm going to open the new a tab and over here i'm going to create I'm going to find in Google a image. So let's say funny images or pictures, funny pictures right over here. And I'm just going to click on images over here. And now I have these options, right? So we can have Mr. Bean or we can have a baby or let's do Kevin Hart over here. So what I would need to do is right click it over here. And then I have over here, same image as, right? So I click it over here. And it's going to be the same for the Mac and PC. So what we need to do right now do is we need to actually select our folder that we created HTML. You can see over here that I have my index file and save this image there. So I'm going to call it, I don't know, funny, right? Funny. And I'm going to save it over here. And now you can see that I have saved my image. So let's go back. I'm going to minimize this and I can close this out for now. So let's open up our toggle menu and let's see what happens. And now you can see that right now I copied this image and I named it funny and I have it actually in my folder. And that's the nice thing about brackets. It's right away. You can see that it shows you the preview of what, what is the picture and it actually tells you the size. You see this 225 and 225. So let's jump back to index and now let's add this image to our actual file. And if we want to add an image in HTML, we would need to create a image element and we would write to have tags. So I'm going to write image over here and I'm going to press enter. And the difference between an image and let's say a heading tag would be that image doesn't have a closing and opening tag. However, what image does is image tag has an attribute and attributes are basically a explanations about the tags so in this case the explanation would be a source and what it explains to the browser it tells hey listen yes i want to add an image but i'm actually telling where that image is located and you can see over here what brackets does the nice thing about brackets is right away tells you what kind of file you would want to add now because this is an image obviously we want to add this funny jpeg but however if we would have let's say 10 images it would also display them all. So we don't want to add this index for now, but let's say further as you're learning, let's say CSS, you would know that if you want to add, let's say a CSS file, you would be able to also do that. So we just click over here, funny JPEG. And now we, you can see that we have our image to our page right here. You can see Kevin Hart is staring at us. And again, the syntax would be that we would have to write a tags and inside the tags, we would write image over here and then we would need to include the attribute source and the source is telling us where that image is located now another nice thing about brackets is that as you can see over here it actually gives you a quick preview of what that image looks like i mean it's not a big deal but it does help you if you're working with large files right so congratulations we actually have our first image now i want to show you another thing how we can actually add images externally so let's say I wouldn't save this image. I don't want this to be, let's say, uh, sitting in my computer. I, I don't want it here. I actually just want to create an image from, from the web, right? So what we would need to do over here is I'm just going to delete this. So the source would be empty. And let's go back over here. And now we have Google. So again, let's, let's look for the images. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write funny pictures. And I'm going to say images. And let's say if I choose this one, this picture over here, right? So I just right click, right click it. But the difference is I don't want to use the save image as. I actually want to use, what I want to do is I want to copy images address. So let's just click this over here. And again, we can just close this one out. Now we for sure don't need it. And we go back to image source. And what we would need to do is in this attribute source we would have to actually paste this address over here so I'll paste this and you can see that i have the set, the image that i that i wanted so this is your other option if you don't want to save this file over here on your computer 
you can actually just copy and paste the address where the image is located and you can get the image that way too. The problem of copying and pasting the address of the image is that sometimes those addresses are very, very long. So you don't want, sometimes it's much more easier if you just have the file over here and it's always the length of this source is always going to be JPEG because you can see already right away this source was longer because the actual address. And again, another nice thing is that Brackets gives you a preview so you can see that when your boss asks you how you're doing halfway through your shift, right? And again, we can just make it a little bit bigger so we can see how our web page would look. This is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.